We took everything you love about a baked potato and we made a smoky, cheesy baked potato soup. Perfect for the fall. If you guys want to see this, here we go. All right, to get started, we have one block of sharp cheddar cheese. We're gonna cold smoke it using a smoke tube. So what's that mean? Basically, we're gonna use our smoking pecan pellets, our pellet of choice, no doubt. Simply enough, find your smoke tube. We can have one link listed below. It's not the exact one, but most of them do a pretty good job. And we're just gonna fill the tube up. Simply enough, you're gonna find a torch or a lighter or something and just light your uh, pellets. Plenty of oxygen. You want this burn for maybe five minutes before you even close the lid. Uh, just if you're not aware, I've never seen this before. The grill is not on. This is just the actual smoke tube itself. Is this winter going to be the time that we finally make chocolate creme brulee on the channel? Now that you've got your creme brulee torch out. If that's what you want, honey. You're the boss. All right, smoke tube's lit. It's been about five to eight minutes, somewhere through there. I've got my smoke tube over here because I got my draft rolling this way. So I'm gonna check the cheese right there, close the lid, and go to about an hour to two hours. As long as the smoke tube's rolling, we're good. All right, our cheese is cold smoking, rocking right along. We're going to throw some bacon down on a sheet tray. From there, we're gonna move it to our Weber Searwood XL, smoke it for about 225, and just basically incorporate as much smoke flavor as possible. Plus, once that uh, bacon grease kind of drips down the sheet tray, it's also collecting a little bit of smoke flavor as well. We're using the smoke and pecan pellets. You guys know I've been rocking those lately. I absolutely love them. And then we'll be able to pull the bacon off and uh, get that chopped up and start the process of our baked potato soup. Two and a half hours later. Woo, looking good. So from there, we're just gonna set this in the refrigerator. Let that smoke calm down a little bit and then uh, we'll be able to move on. We got the cheese done and we got the bacon done. We got these massive potatoes. So this is the idea. I like a little skin on mine. If you want to go completely skinless, you can. If you want to leave all the skin on, you can. It's your soup, up to you. So I just like to roughly come in here. That's good to me. Simply enough, we're going to take the potatoes and dice them into bite-sized pieces. You can imagine you just want a few uh, pieces of potatoes scattered on your spoon. The larger potatoes will be extremely hard to eat, so just keep that in mind. We call match the hatch. Something like that should work just fine. Into a thing of water it goes, so a lot of that starch can come off while we're prepping the rest of the potatoes. All right, we end up using about three and a half of those potatoes. Those potatoes were massive. So you can imagine if you have smaller potatoes. So we're looking at about three and a half pounds of potato, just to give you an idea. We have chicken broth, bone broth, whatever you decide to use, that's up to you. We're using 32 ounces. We're gonna boil the potatoes in this. I've already drained them of water and we're just gonna add that right to the pot. All right, the potatoes are tender, roughly about 20 minutes later. That's gonna vary greatly on the amount of potatoes you put in there and the liquid Ooh, there's and a bee. temperature. <laughs> well, you see it? Yeah, it's hungry. I'm gonna take some out because we're gonna use this as the thickening agent. So I'm gonna take out roughly about a potato's worth. So, it's probably good, maybe a little bit more. And that's gonna help with our thickness. So to that, I'm gonna set this to the side. We're gonna add that smoked bacon, get that crispy, get that fat rendered out and see how much fat we have to see if we need to add any more to it. Just like that, you got your mashed potato. You don't have to smoke your bacon. This is a recipe that we thought, how can we incorporate the smokers? You could definitely just take the bacon um, and skip that step. But. The addition of smoking the cheese and the addition of smoking the bacon adds so much depth of flavor 
that I feel like it's worth it. So if you're having a pretty day, you got things out there, go ahead and put it on because it's definitely worth it. The drawback is you lose some of the fat when you smoke it. So what we're doing now is render it down and then we can gauge how much fat we'll need, which is, looks like we'll be pretty dang close. We've got a quarter cup of flour. So we're looking at roughly about a quarter cup of grease, oil, butter, whatever you have. To the bacon grease, we're gonna add the jalapeno and the onion. The vegetables have been sweated down. Right before we add the flour, we're gonna add that garlic. We do this so the garlic doesn't burn. You're only looking for about 60 seconds right here, just until you start smelling it and it gets fragrant. Quarter cup of flour. And work this all together. This seems a little dry to me which is what I was mentioning earlier about you gotta find your good fat to flour ratio. You can add your ghee, you can add your tallow, you get more bacon grease. But if we're talking about a baked potato soup, butter on a baked potato goes well, so why not? And I think that's perfect. Now you can see the paste that it's starting to make, the little brown bits on the bottom, looking good. Next step, add the pot of uh, potatoes back on there with all that chicken stock in there. Give that a stir. As it comes up to boil, it will start to thicken. Smelling good. From there, we're gonna add the potatoes. If you notice, we have not added any salt and pepper yet because there's no reason to until you get all your ingredients incorporated because you're just going to keep adding and subtracting. So get that put in there. Let's turn that temp down a little bit. Get the consistency we need. And we're going to adjust our seasonings right at the end. Two cups of heavy cream. Whew, smell that. Ooh. Just that little extra... A little extra oomph. So we're gonna grate that block of cheddar, reserve some for your garnish. This is eight ounces. From here, if you wanna thin it out with water, with more stock, if you want it thicker, that's all up to you. We kinda of like where we're at right here. As it cools, it will naturally thicken as well. Now we got the consistency we're looking for, and now we can season. Taste as you go, but I definitely think we can start eyeball on here salt one teaspoon salt half teaspoon black pepper eighth of a teaspoon of red pepper cayenne pepper crushed red pepper quarter teaspoon of paprika just helps with the color as well quarter teaspoon of dried parsley give that a mix and you're just going to season the taste if you like it saltier you know what to do One more teaspoon of salt. One more half teaspoon of black pepper. Half teaspoon of salt. Now that we got our seasonings, we're just gonna go and cut it off. And the very last step, we're gonna add about a quarter cup of sour cream just like in your baked potatoes, however you like it. Adds a little richness, a little thickness. Baked potato soup with a little smoke flavor action on the bacon and cheese to make that flavor pop. Now what I'm doing is kind of like the idea of what we do with wine. We pour one glass, give the one glass away and the rest of the bottle is yours. So <laughs> I'm making my Weiss and then that bowl is mine tonight. <laughs> a little dollop of sour cream. Hit that with just a little bit of cheese around it. Come back in with some bacon. You gotta know what you're eating. Top it off with a little green onion, that way you can get your vegetables in for the day. A loaded baked potato soup. Obviously a personal option. Add a little hot sauce to mine. 
I don't know why I never put a hot sauce on a baked potato, but I would put it on baked potato soup. Kind of cooled down a little bit at least. Mm. Well, that's a wild ride. <laughs> the first thing you get, maybe I'm wrong, you've had a bite before me, the smokiness, the subtle smokiness from the cheese. I know you guys are like, 100%. well, you should smoke the cheese and let it sit for two weeks. The power of that smoke for just a few hours, you got to remember, it's like it's being dissolved throughout the whole soup, so you need a little umph in it. The crispiness of the bacon as a topping adds that crunch that you need. You can start with sourdough bread, crackers, however you want to do it, but honestly, this is, this is perfect fall food. Yep, give me a bite. <laughs> Even though I've already had a bunch of bites. <laughs> It does mm. taste like baked potato in a bowl. That smokiness. It's the smokiness. It just adds. It just takes your regular potato soup and takes it up a notch. Golly. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share with your friends. Peace. Mm. You did good, kid. Give me a bite. <laughs> with the hot sauce? Yeah. I can take the hot sauce. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Black pepper no mm. more. Mm. Mm. You like it with hot sauce? Mm-hmm. That's good. And that's good. Golly, that's good. Mmm. Mmm.